Hello, this is the Gas Leak, which is a set of Sudoku puzzles released after every month uh, by the generally approachable Sudoku setters, uh, which are meant to be solved, I guess, after you solve the initial 30 or 31 puzzles that appear in the month. Uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of them. Gener uh, all of them are going to be from the uh, gas leak for December 2023 uh, which is the 35th gas apparently okay uh, let's try and start solving I suppose uh, all right so this is our first puzzle it is Dutch and German whispers by Philip Newman normal sort of rules apply along thin orange lines which are these over here uh, adjacent digits must differ by 4 or more, so if you had, say, a 3 here, then this must be at least, sorry that's a bad example, if you had a 2 here, this must be at least 4 away, which would be 6, or 8, that's possible. Uh, along thicker green lines, which are these here, digits that are adjacent to each other must differ by 5 or more. So if you had a 1 here, this must be at least 1 away, so it could be a 6, a 9, a 7, so on and so forth. Uh, and those are the rules. Oh, and additionally, normal sort of clues apply, so every row, every column, every 3 every 3 box has the digits 1 to 9. Those are the rules, let us begin solving. So, well, well clearly in this row we're missing the digits 1 and 9, but that's not really going to help us. The reason why is because uh, 1 and 9 are the extremities of this row. Uh, numerically speaking, meaning that there are actually a lot of digits you could put there, at least 4 away. Um, Alright, I can see something to do with these green lines here. Because 5 can never appear on a German Whisper line. The reason why is if you had a 5 here, uh, the digits that are 5 away have to be 0 or less, which cannot happen or 10 or more, which also cannot happen. So 5 cannot happen, 5 cannot appear anywhere on a green German whisper line, meaning that in both columns, 5 must take the remaining cell. Uh, we do know though that 5 has to appear somewhere on the orange line, which is possible because 5 can be beside a 1 and a 9. Ah, and it is very interesting where 5 goes on each of these lines. Because 5 cannot be on the ends because of the 5s already in the uh, rows, those are no longer 5. Um, 5 has to be along the center section of the line, which means it always is adjacent to 2 digits. And 5 can only be adjacent to 2 digits uh, that cannot repeat, there would be 1 and 9. So 5 can only be beside 1 and 9, those are the only digits that are 4 away from 5. Now the point is that, therefore, we know that 5 has to exist beside this 1 9 uh, cell here. And the reason why is because if 5 were to exist anywhere else, uh, okay let's not do that, that's a bad example, if 5 exists anywhere else, you'd have the two cells include a 1 9 pair, which does not include this cell, and therefore you'd have a lot of 1s and 9s in the column meaning that 5 must be somewhere beside the 1 and 9 already in each of these boxes, which makes some sense. Uh, okay, I'm going to remove the color. What else can we see? Well, another thing that we can note about German Whispers is that digits must alternate between high and low values. That is, if this were a 2, this digit must be at least 5 away and uh, must therefore be above 5, right? So we consider digits below 5 to be low values, which I mark as a... Uh, which I mark with a blue, and digits above 5 to be high values, which I mark with an orange. And so whatever is beside 2 must be at least 5 away, which means it's either 7 or higher, so they must be high. And by equivalent logic, these must be low, and then you will start to notice that um, alternating along the uh, green lines are, are um, your high and low digits. So you'd have something like this. 
This could be either. And then 5 is just 5. 5 is neither higher or nor low. Um, yes, also, where can 6 go in here? 6 can't go in these cells, because 6 is not 5 away from 2. It's only 4 away. But 6 can't go here either. And the reason why is because 6 can only have one thing adjacent to it. And the, the, that thing will be 1. Uh, 6, no other digit from 1 to 9 is 5 away from 6 other than 1. So you can't have two different digits be beside 6. Meaning that 6 has to be on the end, which then sees a 1. And then by similar logic, 4 also can only have one, uh, one thing adjacent to it, which, would must, uh, which must be 9. So these can't be 4, they are 4 away from 8. This can't be 4, because you can only have one thing away from 4. So that's a 4, that is a 9. Right, next. Where does 7 go? No, sorry, where does 6 go? Yes, the similar logic applies here. Where does 6 go? 6 must go there because it can't be beside two different uh, digits. And in this line, we can also ask where 4 goes. It must go there beside 9. Uh, and therefore, yes, and therefore, what is the remaining high digit here? It's a 7. Uh, what is the remaining low digit here? It's a 3. And now we know this, this can't be a, a, a 7 because 7 is not. Uh, three. Uh, it's not five away from three, so it has to be eight, and that's a seven. This cannot be three because that's not five away from seven, and so must be a two. That is a three. Okay, we may we've made quite some progress. What else do we have? I would say three must appear somewhere along this line, but the issue is that. German, uh, sorry, Dutch Whispers are slightly different, where uh, along a Dutch Whisper, you can have high and low digits, and theoretically, they should also alternate under one specific condition. If you have a 5 somewhere, then that middle cell is a 5 before alternating, because a 5 must have a 1 on one side and a 9 on the other side, which are definitely one high and one low. So uh, wherever you have 5, it, it, it kind of acts as a crossing point from a low to a high. Otherwise, it does alternate at all points as well. So this, whatever it is, you'd then have this be one of the pink values, which is five. Um, so I guess I guess we'll mark all the fives as pink, just to memorize that fives are pink. Uh, fives are pink. So these are alternating. These are alternating, and we can say similarly these are alternating. These are alternating because they kind of have five in them. I suppose, what is one thing we can say? I think 4 and 6, like on the on, on this, 4 and 6 are also pretty important. 4 and 6 can have multiple um, things adjacent to them though, like a 4 can have a... 4 can have a... 4 can have a an 8 and a 9 adjacent to it, while a 6 can have a 1 and a 2 adjacent to it. Hmm. Although I'm not sure how that helps exactly. Oh, well, this this alternates as well because it kind of a 5 on it. So this alternates and this alternates. Um, how does that affect everything? Well, alternating implies that what does it imply? Well, a 4 must go somewhere. Uh, but a 4 can be beside 8 and 9, right? It could also be on an edge, which touches like an 8 or a 9. What I do know is that 6 and 4 can't both be in the center. Because a 4 in the center, 4 in the center. Oh, but it could be here. You could have a like a like a four here, a nine there, and then a six in the center, touching, touching uh, two and two and uh, touching one and two. That's fine. Okay. Well, I suppose not. What else can we deduce? 
uh, yeah, okay, threes here imply that there are no threes in these six cells. So three goes in one of those cells. And what must three be beside? Three must be beside seven, eight, or nine. What does that mean? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I have that much experience with Dutch Whispers, so I, 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 I can't really figure them out quite yet. Yeah, I don't think I can figure them out quite yet. I don't think we can do Sudoku. I don't. I ass uh, wouldn't assume so. I guess you could say because of, of, of these cells, 5 has to be in one of these cells. 5 has to be in one of these cells by equivalent logic. Uh, in this box, all these 4s make a 4 in that cell. That pushes a 6 in one of these cells. Hmm, 4 can't be in that cell though, because a 4 in that cell forces a 9 there, which fails. So that can't be a 4, that's a 4. Uh, this 6 forces a 1 there, which fails this one, so that can't be a 6. That's a 6. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Right. Uh, do I still want to think about alternating this then? I don't think so because... Well, yeah, because of, of these fives, these can't be fives. Fives can't exist on a German Whisper, so fives in one of those cells. And then by equivalent logic, I believe 5 is in one of those cells. But that again doesn't do anything, because 5s are not what's important at the moment. Hmm, although I, I would say... Uh, see... Wherever 5 is in, in, the, in these, right, wherever 5 is, the two cells have to be opposite of it. So if 5 was here, these are 1, 9 pair, which is resolved by that. While if this was it, then these two are a 1, 9 pair, which is resolved by that. Similarly, if 5 was here, these are a 1, 9 pair, which is resolved by that. And here is a 1, 9 pair, which is resolved by that. So you'd always have 159 existing in one of two possible states. So it's a 159 or a 1159. Does that help? Mm, maybe, maybe. Maybe it does indicate what this has to be and what this has to be. So say 159 would... That, that is one way, right? One, uh, sorry, 159, because this can be a 9. So 159 puts a low digit here, which puts a high digit there. What about this? If this happened to be the case, then this would be 159. This is a low digit, high digit, low digit, high digit. So in both cases, this is always a high digit. And then, uh, because this can't be a 5, it has to be a low digit. And I believe we can do the same on the opposite side. If this was a 159, it has to be 951. Low digit, high digit. If this was your 159, it would have to be 159. High digit, low digit, high digit. Wait, high? No, sorry. 159, high, low, high, low. 
No, wait, what, what am I doing? Sorry, the two options are 159 here and then 159 here. 159, low, high, low. 159, low. So this is always low, and this is always high. And then by alternating, that is a high value, and then by alternating, that's a low value. Oh, wow, I, I, I really should have made a bit more sense of that. Let's see if I can redo that logic here and explain it better. We realize that wherever the 5 goes, it has to be beside 1 and 9, which means that the 159 triple can only exist in two possible states. You either have a 5 here, and then you'd have a 1 here because there can't be a 9 there, and then a 9 there, so it's either 159, or you had a 5 there. And then because this can't be a, a 1, it has to be a 9. So it's either a 159 here, or a 159 there. Now let's study what happens in both cases. In both cases, uh, in, in the first case, 159 makes this a, a low value. By alternating, because this can't be a 5, this must therefore be a high value. So low and high. In the other case, is 159. This 1 is a low value, and because there can't be a 5 anywhere else, this has to alternate high, low, and high. So in both cases, this is low, and this is high. We can do the same logic down here. A 159 makes this a high value. This would be low, uh, this would be a low because it can't be a 5. This would be a high, this would be a low. And then if this was the case, 159, sorry, if this was the case, 159, this is always high and this is always low. So in either case, this is high and this is low. And then, because 5 cannot exist in this cell, it must alternate from low and be high, and here we must do the same thing and make it a low. Yes, I hope I, 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 hope I did that right. Okay, then we can actually, yes, we can study this and say, because there can't be a 5 on it, uh, what are its contents? There are 4 highs and 4 lows. There are already 3 lows in, the grid, in this box, so there is 1 low here and 2 highs. You, you cannot have a high here, because it must have a high somewhere adjacent to it, which fails. So this must be a low value, around two, uh, surrounded by two highs. And then, because this can't be a 5, there's already a 5 in one of these cells, this cannot be a 5 and therefore must alternate to be low. And we can do a similar logic here, saying that there must be one high and two lows. The high has to be there, the two lows have to be there. Then by alternating, there can't be a 5 there, so that has to be a high. Yes. Yeah. Am I missing something? This, what is this cell? This cell is either a 5 or a high. This cell is either a 5 or a low. Ah. No, because that I don't think that really tells us anything. A low here would force 4 lows in these 4 cells. That's a high. That's a 5, so that's a high. But otherwise, if 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 this was five, then this would be high. Uh, oh, right. Well, it doesn't matter then because if that happened, then this is five. Then this must be low. So, is this always high then? Is this always high? What, what, what are our choices again? 159? 159 And then low Yes, 159 This must be low This must be high Or 159 This must be high But you already have 4 lows So this is also high So this is always high and then, I think by equivalent logic, I can say confidently that that's a low. Because it's, 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 it's basically flipping the entire thing 180 degrees and swapping the polarities. I'm confident saying that without having to go through the logic all over again. 
Ooh, and then in this column we already have four. Well, I mean we can do that by uh inspecting this set as well. But this is either a one or a four. This is either a one or a four. Because of the three and two already existing. This is either a six or a nine. Because already have uh, because we already have seven and eight. Four, four has to be beside eight, correct? Because four is only eight to uh, four is only next to eight and nine, and then nine already here means that there has to be an eight. And if it was a one, it would have to be next to. It can't be next to five, so it's next to six, seven, eight, or nine, which means that since it can't be a seven, it can't be a nine. So it's either six or eight. So it's a six or an eight. I think by similar logic here, if this is a six, this must be a two or a one. It can't be a one, so it's a two. If this is a 9, this must be 1, 2, 3, or 4, but it can't be 1, 3, so this is 2 or 4. Mm -hmm. A 6 might be somewhat useful as well. Because a 6 must be beside 1 and 2. But that seems possible, doesn't it? An 8 is beside... Well, an 8 can be beside anything from 1 to 4. So this could be a 1, 2, or a 3. And then, like, if this was a 1, then there is basically zero restriction on that cell. Yeah. Okay... I mean, I, I guess we're getting somewhere, but this one is definitely a, a huge up. Huge up in difficulty compared to the uh, normal general approachable Sudoku's we've been doing this week. Either that or I'm just missing something super duper obvious. Which is to say that once we figure out this happens, Can we then next figure out four? Four can't be here. Can four be there? What does four have to be next to? It has, to, it has to be next to eight and nine, right? Four has to be next to eight and nine. That seems okay. That seems doable. Well, this might be where it sort of breaks. No, no, I don't think it breaks. I think that's fine. What if 4 was here? Then 4 should be beside 9, because it can't be beside a 1 or a 5. Oh, we can we can figure out. Wait, yeah, we can we can figure out what are these cells already. I think because uh, this cell can't be a two. This cell can't be a, uh, these cells can't have a two. They can't have a seven. They can't have a nine in there. So two, nine, and seven have to um, occupy the upper cells. And then these cells can't have a, an eight. Can't have a three. Can't have a one. So one, three, and eight occupy the lower cells, which gives us a few more pairs to work with on the outsides here. Outside our pairs are 5 and 6, and below there our pairs are 4 and 9. Wait, no, 4 and 5. What am I saying? 4 and 9. So one of this is a 4 and one of this is a 6. Which means that... What does that mean? Oh, where does 7 go in this row? 7 come in those cells, 7 come in those cells. 7 is in one of these cells, but the only high spot it can be in is there. So that's a 7. I think similarly we can do something here. Yep, where does 3 go in this column? 3 come in those cells, 3 come in those cells. 
and then three is in one of these cells, but the only low cell that exists is there, so that's a three. These are therefore a two four pair. This is a six eight pair. That this this ambiguates things. This 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 two four disambiguates that. That's a one. That's a nine. This six eight disambiguates that. That's a nine. That is a one. So four cannot exist here because four cannot be beside one. So this is a five. That's a six. Nine cannot be beside six. So this is not a six. So we have that. Uh, we can start marking more low values. Low values. Mark some more high values and mark some more fives. Okay, I'm glad we've got that sorted out. This four must be next to eight and nine. And the nine here means that has to be an eight. Six must be next to one and two. The one here means that is a two. Here we have one and three. This one sees that, so that's a three. That's a one. Three in the corner, nice. Uh, these are seven and nine. This nine sees that, so that is a seven. That is a nine. That means that's a 6. This one means that is a 4. And 4 must be next to an 8. So that is a 6. 6 must be next to a 4, a 2, sorry. So that's a 4. And we are finally starting at somewhere. These cells are 1, 2, and 6. 6 can only be there because it's the only high cell. These are 1, 2, which is disambiguated by that. 1 here, 2 there. These are. Seven, five, seven, eight. This can't be five. This can't be eight. That can't be seven. I, I think I can remove these. I don't think they're very useful anymore. These cells are four, four, eight, nine. Four can only be there. This is an eight, nine pair. This ambiguated by that. Nine here, eight here. Two, three. Two, three, five. 2, 3, 5. This can't be a 2, this can't be a 3, this can't be a 5. Okay, what about these cells? They are 5, 6, 7. Which means that because this can't be a 5, this is a high value. So that's also a high value. This is therefore a low value. We can do the same here. What are these cells? 3, 4, and 5, right? Yeah. This can't be a 5, so this is actually a low value, so that is a high value. I can mark this as well, I guess. This is a, that, that, and then that is low. This is a low value, so it's either a 2 or a 3. Ah, but the only way you can have these separated by 5 is if it were 2 here, 7 here. That's the biggest difference you can have, and it is exactly 5. So it is 2 here, 7 here. This is either 7 or 8, and by similar logic, this has to be 3 here, 8 there. This has to be 5 away from 8, but can't be a 3, so it's either a 1 or a 2. 3, 8 means that is a 1, which does disambiguate, that's a 2. That's no longer a 2. Uh, this 2 must be beside 7, 8, or 9. This... 2, 7 disambiguates that, that's a 9, that is an 8, this 9 means that's a 7, that is a 2, this can't be a 1 or an 8, so that is a 3, that is an 8. Uh, this 3 means that's a 5, resolving all of this, that is a 4, this 7 means that is a 5, resolving this, this 5 also resolves all of that, and then we are running with 8 cells. These are 1 and 9, resolvable. 9 here, 1 there. These are 3 and 5. That 5 resolves. 3, 5. This is 7, 5 and 7, resolvable. 7 here, 5 there. These are 1 and 9 as well, resolvable. 9 here, 1 there, to solve the puzzle. In, well, I suppose barely 30 minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you... Uh, next time. Bye-bye.